Hey guys, so I decided I was going to remake this tutorial because it got a lot of views and honestly, my last one was pretty bad. So this is how you record metal guitars in Reaper. First, you have to, of course, have an interface. You have your guitar hooked up into your interface set to a line, not a line, instrument input. That way, it doesn't run in too hot. Then, maybe, if you still need it, a pad. Once you have everything set up that way, you have to go over to the input here on the track and select the input on your interface that you selected for your guitar. Then, you need some guitar plugins. I recommend and use daily the Toneforge Misha Mansoor uh, plugin. I got this off of the presets from the pre-order but feel free to copy mine. This is my setup. I don't currently use the cabs because honestly I don't like them. I use the, the Zilla cabs from GGD. I use the Genty preset. I think it sounds nice. Uh, other than that, I use the precision drive. This, these settings here. I'm not currently using any effects because these, I mean, this is a hardcore song. I'm not doing any leads, no, nothing really crazy with EQ. Again, it was just mainly a preset and I adjusted very, very little. <laughs> and even if you decide to copy these entirely, it may not sound the same, may not sound good. It all depends on the way you play, your guitar, your pickups, your setup, everything. So tweak accordingly to what you want your guitar to sound like. For this example, I'm doing a cover of And Still I Wonder South from Knocked Loose. So I have, my chain currently is just uh, the amp sim, the cab sim, which is the GGD Zilla. I have some EQ. Uh, a lot of stuff, like this stuff is just cutting out all the muddy, not so pleasant to listen to low frequencies from the guitar, just a little tiny boost, dipping at some of the muddiness, dipping out really just like a really harsh frequency right here that I heard and just cutting off extra high end to make room. Just general mixing things that <laughs> I still do even if it's a cover. Other than that, I have BG Guitars from Joel Wanasek. It has a good Chug Slayer option, which is a multi-band compressor to clamp down on your chugs so they don't really get out of hand. That's pretty useful, but if you don't have this and you want to do it still, what you can do is use the FabFilter Pro MB, do a few chugs, set, sit it there, just kind of adjust and clamp it down so I've already done that with BG guitars so I don't really use that okay so just a basic tip as well if you record your two guitars at once so like in one go both recording at once it's not going to be stereo it's going to be a louder mono source so what you want to do is record the right side and then the left side and I'll show you yeah, like such so once you have everything set up just hit the arm hit the record button make sure it has the monitoring on or else you won't be able to hear yourself but anyway let's uh let's do it now So I recorded the right side, and it, honestly, it wasn't that great of a take. But I'll show you what I mean about it being a louder mono source. So this is the right side on its own. So that's how it sounds on its own, but if I copy-paste... sound stereo at all but let me go ahead and re-record re this to be a better take and I will show you 
All right, so I got a slightly better take. I'm, it's currently 1.23 a.m., so I'm not going to be too much of a perfectionist right now. But uh, I'm going to, since I, have already, since I already have the right side recorded, I'm going to only do the left side. Okay, so I got both takes again. 1.24 a.m. now. I'm not being too much of a perfectionist, so uh, let's go. So if I solo these... So now I'll just show you like a quick back and forth between stereo and just copy paste so you can see the difference. So that's the guitar track, and that's pretty much it. That's all you need. I guess you would need to level. So what I do to level is I zero these out. So those are pretty much the loudest thing. Ignore the humming. Uh, so once I have those zeroed out, I will put the song low, and I'll raise it until I feel like you can hear my guitar and it's not too loud over the song. way to also just double check is to mute your guitars. Another good tip that I always catch at the last second is like parts like this in songs. The guitar is exclusively on the left. I will just forget like that. So I always have to just be sure to double check just plays the way it should anyway there's a simple tutorial for you guys I know I haven't uploaded in a very long time <laughs> I kind of want to get back to it so I hope to see you guys soon thanks for watching